Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Morfrey. In today's video, I want to talk about order blocks. This is something that I have been uh, studying for quite a while and I think it's time to share with everyone here on this channel about order blocks and how you can get started and at least you gain different knowledge on this uh, on this information about order blocks. So what is order block? An order block is a technical analysis technique that tracks the accumulation of orders when bullish and distribution of orders when bearish of financial institutions and banks. It is an area of indication of where big institutions will pile up their orders to enter the market. So guys, if you have been trading for the longest time and sometimes when you are on your chart, you see big candles, volume candles, this is institutional, these are banks are uh, manipulating the price, maybe to go to where they want, so they will manipulate the price to go to where they want so that they can get the best price out of the market. So guys, um, did you know that uh, financial institution and central banks drive and strongly influence the forex market? If you didn't know, now you know. And how we have come to realize that financial, they, they play a very big role in, in the financial, uh, in, the, in the trading or in your charts. And it's because... How can you explain a very momentum candle of 200 pips, 300 pips? I remember there was a time I was trading GBP Audi and the market was selling and we were selling and everyone was happy. We were in blues. We were making profits. And all of a sudden, a momentum, bullish momentum, I don't know from where. Now I know it's financial institution. It just came and the market went up with 356 pips one candle on four hour so if you don't understand that institutional um the financial institutional and central banks drive strongly the forex market now you know so the minute you start seeing volume in your charts know the banks are interested in that pair so let's continue understand this Many traders have been frustrated when a well-planned trade, even me, let me, I won't lie, even me, I have planned a very, very good trade and at the end of the day, it does not work because the bank can drastically change the price of your position. Always remember financial institutions do not make a sudden investment in any trading instrument. They spend a lot of money on analysis to get the best trading results. I've just told you what happened on GBP Audi. We were selling, we were happy, we had profits, but all of a sudden, banks came in. They saw opportunity because they'll never get involved. In at all, they will not make money. So every time you open your chart and you start seeing big volume, big candles, 100 pips, 200 pips, one candle, you go to five minutes and you see one five minutes or one minute candle is 200 pips. Just know the moment the banks the, the financial institutes they are in play they are they they have seen something interesting in that market so it's time to open your eyes and see clearly what is happening so uh, i'll just give an example of order block uh, i'll give you example with the live chart so sometimes with the example a block in the chart is where the market had consolidated, we have a block or a continuation of, of the market. So guys, let's go to our chart for you to really understand what is a block. So this is a good example. I want to give an example with GBP Audi. And remember, the higher the time frame, the stronger the block. I've told you order blocks is a place where institutional or um, the banks come in and the minute they come in they will bring momentum in the market they will reverse the market so you 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 need to be familiar with the chart and start seeing these places where the market reverses and then you can spot an order on order block so in this case this is gbp audi this is our four hour and uh other videos I'll I'll try to talk to you guys or to show you different types of order block but today I'll just focus with what is order block and trying to show you an example so this is our chart you can see the market has been trending down this is our chart the market has been trending down so of course everyone if you open GBP Audi and you see the market has been trending down everyone will be ready to 
to to to buy so people want to buy because they think the market has reversed you can see the market has reversed so if you find your market has it was going down it has started to break key support so uh, key areas so like this place the resistance was broken you can see the resistance here was broken so if you start seeing resistance has been broken the market it's like it is reversing that's when now you start thinking like a bank of course banks and this big financial institution will not come and place a buy order here why because they are placing a lot of money in the market so they will not be happy when they are being given with a very very bad price so what they do they have to make uh, sure they get this market in but with a good price so for us if at all we want to know how order blocks work you'll come and try to identify order blocks in this channel so at the moment i can see a bullish order block so the order block the way i have explained to you is either market that has consolidated and then it has broke or a market that has reversed and the price has not come to that area so we can see the first green candles there that's a block because why the market when it reached this place it went up and it has not touched this place so we have the first order block we have that place and then we can have a very small order block here the market was uh was um came stopped a, a little bit then we can see this big candle this is an institutional candle so where the market had consolidated and i've told you you need to identify the consolidation or you need to see where the market has reversed very quickly without uh, coming back to that place so we can see a small consolidation here so that is uh we can identify those are uh, two order blocks that we have in mind so you can see when the market went up and this mind you this order block i've not gotten it from this zone it's not this level that i've gotten the order block i've gotten the order block from this level because we can see very huge two big momentum candles and that way i've told you this momentum candle these are money pumped in and who else will pump money if it's not the bank so that's how i've gotten that order block and it's very accurate you can see the market came tapped here and it continued to go up so if at all you had this uh order block uh the zone very well and it is defined you could have some you could have bought here and then you could have gain some profits so remember the banks want to get a good price the banks want to get a good price so i'll just play and see will they come back to order block i can call this order block a can call this order block a and the, and the other one b so will they come to a or b so remember if they come to be these are the some of the things i'll show you as we continue to to analyze this um as we analyze as we continue to analyze the the order block and the strategy behind it and how to trade it these are some of the videos that i'll be doing so keep in keep it here so uh let's play and see if they come here and they start uh consolidating this block may be weak and we may be going to order block a so it's you to know even if you have and then there are some blocks that they don't hold you can see here it holds so if this market comes down it can hold to make a double bottom if at all this market can come all the way down then it goes up it can hold because it will have made double bottom but if it comes and starts consolidating just know that that block is has be, it has become weak so let's play and see what really happened so remember if you if you're someone who uses order block strategy when you find the market like this you're not interested in sell you want to see how the price will react on these blocks that you have identified so you'll just you'll just wait for the market and you you wait to see how will the market behave how will the market behave 
And and again, if at all you want, this is something again. If you want to sell for to you know you can buy, you can sell. You can go on your left, you can see the consolidation. This is another, it's a block. So this is a block on your left. All of this is a block. So you can see if this block does not hold, um, the market may push to the upper block. So all of this is a block because of this consolidation. And then we have big move on the downside. So we can see clearly the market comes. If it goes down um, very fast without consolidating, it was a strong block. So let's let's continue and see what will happen. So the market is moving away from the block. We don't want the the only thing that you don't want is your market is your price to consolidate on the same block. You will know that that block is not strong. So I think I can increase. So you can see the market came touched. Uh, the market came consolidated. I've told you what. If the market consolidate on this, this block is weak. So what it, it did, it came and tapped this block and the market went up. So guys, I think, um, I don't know. I, I think you will be understanding how to trade other blocks with time. Just to identify, this video was just for you to identify and know how other blocks works. And uh, you can be making very, very... Um, big profits using this order block and i'll be showing you even how to use sniper entries using order blocks because you can imagine if you had an idea that the market may come to this level and then you go to 15 minutes you'll get a sniper entry so guys that was for today today was just knowing what is an order block how it looks like how it plays and you can see the market went back to our previous this one this is where we got the resistance this block so the minute the minute the market tapped here again you can see this big move to the downside so anyone who had this area marked already like order blocks is key area you know it's not like support resistance so everywhere in the chat there is support and resistance but order block your mind is ready your mind is ready to know if the market comes that place i'm ready to to, to know or I'm ready to see what may happen. So thank you guys for watching. I'll be posting another video on order blocks. I'll I think I'll create like five videos for you guys to really understand what is happening. Today it was just about what is order block and how order blocks behave and what it looks like. So if you're more interested comment down below say you want to know more about order blocks and I will be very, very happy to teach you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.